All right, folks, our next guest has quite the resume. He's a former NASA astronaut and a New York Times best-selling author whose brand new book is entitled Moonshot, A NASA Astronaut's Guide to Achieving the Impossible. And we are thrilled to welcome a friend of ABC News here to GMA3, Mike Massimino. Thank you for being here with oh, us. Thanks for having me, Ariel. Good to thanks, see you again. This, is, this is twice in a week, and I, I, love, know. To, I good, love to good see week. it. Yeah, it's been a good week <laughs> for you. For this new book is very exciting. Um, you have a, an illustrious career with NASA spanning a long time. You also mm. have been to space twice, mm -hmm. first tweet out of space. So a lot yeah. of things, a lot of notches on the belt, but it wasn't always easy. No. You had some setbacks. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about it. Yeah, it took me, uh, it took me four tries uh, to get to NASA. There are four different selections I applied to. The first time I applied, I was rejected outright, but I didn't want to give up. So I applied a second time, got it rejected outright. Third time I got an interview, which is a whole week of activity, including a medical exam that I failed. I failed the <laughs> oh, eye exam. No. And they said, I was, that's it. You can't even try again. Right. You're disqualified. There was no way to overturn it. But I found out about something called vision training that was done with children. Found a willing optometrist and told her I could be very immature. You won't even know what it did me and those kids. <laughs> and I trained my, yeah, yeah. trained my eyes and brain to see better, to requalify. No guarantee that I'd even get another look. But I was able to apply again get another interview and I got picked on the fourth, tr fourth try. So the idea is perseverance, right? Yeah. One in a million is not zero. It might be a string of zeros is your probability, but there's a one at the end. If you give up, that one turns into a zero and you know the outcome. So success is trying in my book. And that was oh, creative. Instead that. of going yeah. through the front door, you went in the window on that Well, one. you got to keep <laughs> trying. You just got to keep trying. That's uh, That I think is the important thing to remember out of all that. And I'm sure you get this question a trillion times, whether yeah. it's at the barbershop, a party, church or whatever. Yeah. What's it like in space? <laughs> and did it change yeah. your life, your outlook? It, it, it did, DeMarco. It, it, is, it is very magical up there. And you can see the beauty of the planet, which mm. is really indescribable. It's only the, the thoughts that went through my mind I can share with you. When I, during my second spacewalk, I had a time to take a time out and look. And I, the thought that went through my mind was, this is a view from heaven. This is just a, it's a beautiful view. And then I thought, no, it's more beautiful than that. This is what heaven must look like. We are living in an absolute paradise. And that was uh, viewing it from afar. What I do every day is I try to remember that scene that I, that I describe in the book and try to remember it so that no matter what I'm doing, if I'm looking at a beautiful scene, the Grand Canyon, if I'm flying in an airplane or at Central Park or on the New York City subway, just looking at, <laughs> just looking at the faces subway, there. Yeah. You know, subway, space, there's, there's, New a, York. there's a beauty to it. And remembering that scene allows me to engage it every day on Earth. One yeah. of my favorite things you've said recently, which was surprising, is that you're afraid of heights. I don't like heights. You don't like heights. Wait, no, 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 I do no, not. Wait a minute. So, no, wait so a minute. square, this, square yeah. this for us. Uh, you have in your book this philosophy of three trusts. Does yeah. this correlate with some of your fears? Absolutely, because there were times as I was a civilian coming into this, you know, uh, this quasi-military adventure kind of, stuff, and I don't like heights and a lot of things I don't feel comfortable with. But I had to do that. I had to get comfortable with it. So what I tried to remember whenever I was a little bit worried was trust. And there were three trusts that I talk about. Trust your gear, that your equipment is checked out. It's going to be there for you. Trust your training. Your name was not picked out of a hat. You deserve to be here. You deserve to be here today. I do as well somehow. So does everybody. <laughs> we're, we're here for a reason. We've, we've proven ourselves. So trust our training. Trust your team. We don't do these things alone in life. Mm -hmm. So people are going to be there for you if you run into trouble. So remember those three trusts when you get a little worried. And maybe more important, the fourth one is oh, wait, more. trust yourself. Yeah. You know, build your confidence up with those three trusts. But remember, you are ready to go. Trust yourself is the fourth. We can all adapt that. Yeah, and then, then move forward. Execute the plan. Mike, we're so proud of you. Yeah. Oh, thank thanks, you very Marco. much. And thanks for always coming on, too. Oh, you my, my pleasure welcome. to be here. It's always great to see you guys. Thank and you. And you can get Moonshot right here in wherever books are sold. Mike Massimino again. Thank you. Yeah, it's such a pleasure to talk oh, to thanks you, for as always. Me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great Great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA